Welcome back, everybody. This is Davis Spider Monkey 2A, and we're finally back out at the range. We're going to try a couple fun tests today. Today, we have 44 specials. I've never shot those before. I'm interested to see what they can do. Stick around. It should be a lot of fun. All right. So, yes, 44 specials. Never shot them before. The fun part about these is you can shoot them... I think out of all your 44 mags, they're also rated for 44 special. So, got one of my favorites out today. The Henry All Steel Big Boy 44 mag. Love this thing. I don't know if you can see, but on the barrel there, it'll also say, yep, yeah, right there. So, it's caliber 44 Remington Magnum and 44 special. So I've never actually tried these out of it to see what the recoil is. The ammo that we're going to be using today, that's all I can find for 44 Special, is this Underwood High Performance. I like these things because they come out with some interesting style of rounds. These ones are the 220 grain Extreme Penetrators. I've shot Extreme Defenders before, never the Extreme Penetrators, but guys, that is a nasty looking round. Look at that. Ugh, that'll do some damage. These are, like I said, 225 grain, rated for 10, 50 feet per second. We're shooting this out of the carbine, so it'll probably be going a little bit faster. We got some different tests. We got some water jugs. We're going to see if we can catch one of these. We got a couple different styles of melons, see if we can blow it up. We got a couple of small frozen jugs, see if we can get some extreme action going on. So first up, we're going to do the good old recoil test. I like to see if there's any difference between certain rounds that we shoot. If you watch the channel, you'll know you notice that we do that. 44 Magnum out of a carbine, not a ton of recoil, but it still packs quite a wallop. Uh, 44 specials, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, that was like shooting a 22. Seriously, guys. Let's move it on to a different test. So as you can see, we got a couple of small frozen water jugs there, and then two pieces of uh, the spaghetti squash. That tends to blow up pretty good when we shoot it. So hopefully I can hit them from here. I get tired of putting this camera up close and then getting it all dirty. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the... Uh, penetration water drug test will do it but hopefully I can hit it from here we're at about uh, maybe 10 yards away let's give it a whirl see what happens Ooh. oh man <laughs> it was a chunk of that so the the frozen jugs didn't really have much of a reaction. I didn't think it was gonna. None of this stuff's gonna really expand being the extreme penetrators, but it it blew the squash in half. Let's go take a look. Okay, so walking up to it, give a little explanation of why we haven't been doing very many videos lately. I was on a different shift at work, but guess what? Going back to my regular shift, we should be able to get back out here, make some more videos more regularly, get more content for you guys. All right, enough talk. Okay, so frozen jugs. I think it went through. It looks like I might have just glanced that one. Let's take a look at the other one. Yeah, that one went all the way through. Small hole in there. Small hole right out the back. Yep, there we go. All right, let's take a look at the squash. Looks like I might be able to save these to fight another day. Blew the top off of that one. I might have been shooting a little bit high. And into the se second one. Entrance hole there. Exit hole there. But yeah, like I said, guys, we're not getting any expansion on these because they're extreme penetrator rounds. They're not designed to expand. Okay, let's uh, set up the water jug, see if we can actually catch one of these. 
So we got five jugs, which should be more than enough. I don't think these rounds are moving that fast. Hopefully we don't soak our camera. Let's take a look. Wow, did that do way more damage than I thought it was going to do. <laughs> but we did not soak our camera. Thank goodness. Let's go take a look. Wow. Uh, I'm glad I put five out there. It looks like it might have made it to the fifth one. Wow. So, first jug, completely destroyed. Second jug, pretty much the same. That little... Tiny entrance wound there. Big exit. That's crazy. Third jug. So we're getting a bigger entrance wound there. Getting smaller, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Small entrance exit. Let's see if we caught it. I hope we did. I don't have. We did not. Oh my goodness. Wow, that, you know, made it all the way through five, guys. Darn it, I thought that was going to be enough. That's pretty impressive, those extreme penetrators. Definitely was doing its job there. I know a lot of people are going to tell me that, oh, you need more water jugs. Well, I thought five was enough. I don't think I've ever made it through five on any test that we've done. Let's hit it on some steel, see if, uh, there it is. <laughs> See if it looks any different hitting it on some steel. How hard it hits that. <laughs> Bugs are getting bad out here. So 44 Magnum when we hit the steel. Doesn't pack a tremendous wallop. But it still rattles it around a little bit. We'll give it a shot here. We're at about 15, 20 yards. I'm not expecting a ton out of these. As far as, uh, don't call it knockdown power. Let's call it stopping power. The small one, let's try again. Ah, there we got it. So not, yeah, I packed a pretty good wallop on that first one. And then I missed the second shot, that was on me. Open sights, yeah, I'm not going to make my excuses. But anyways, yeah, not too bad. Anyway, sorry, babe. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. It would definitely hit you pretty hard, it would stop you. But these extreme penetrators, <laughs> sign to go right through you. So again, there you have it, guys. That's all the tests we have for today on this one. 44 Special, not too bad. I like it because it's very light recoil. If you want to take out younger shooter, you know, this size this size rifle, perfect size for your uh, starter shooters. Not tremendous recoil, even with 44 Mag, but these 44 Specials were an absolute joy to shoot. Would I go out of my way to find them? Maybe. Uh, 220 grain extreme penetrators. Maybe I'll keep them for self-defense, home defense. Who knows? All right, everybody. This is Dave Spider Monkey 2A. Give us a like. Maybe share this video. Hope you subscribe. If not, thanks for stopping by.